Hello gentlemen, welcome to Windbound, the game where you sail the sea, upgrade your boat, and hunt down the last remaining animals for nutrition. Also, I must thank Epic Games for making this game free a while ago. Without further ado, let us... Boats. We start off drowning in the middle of the ocean during a heavy storm, where we find out that we were with an entourage of boats. But then a storm hit us straight in the back of the head. Like you cut, G. And we die. End of the game. Alright boys, good recording, let's back it up. Oh, I'm just kidding. We just casually start Jesus walking on the water to this nether portal thing. After that, we woke up on the beaches of Isle Delphi. Oh wait, wrong video idea. We wake up, collect some grass, lower my graphics because my high-end gaming laptop might combust. We also crafted a slingshot and then we swam over to the next island and collected some slingshot ammo, AKA. I climbed up to this tower thing and collected this Shell spirit? Uh, I don't know, man. This seems very familiar. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I built a boat and then let us sail off. Another island. Damn, bro. I'm kind of hungry. That was delicious! Anyway, let's explore some more Islas. Hey, another human! Final- What the hell was that? Nice, I can parry attacks now. I hope that I may use this ability in the entire game. Big Rock Island, here we come. After inserting our lucky shell into the hole, we get teleported into a platform and get revealed, from what I understood, that people were friends with this big ass shell that could have either been a floating city, a boat, or just an animal. And it sank. My controller! Where's my controller? Where's my controller? I've lost my controller! To escape, we have to sell our boat back to a portal. But before that, we can choose a blessing. We could have a holy bow, a second chance at life, or, drumroll please, be able to eat mushrooms. Guess which one I chose. After going through the magical portal, we enter chapter 2, the famine. In this chapter, all the islands become pain chilling or something. Basically, we now have unlocked bamboo. On the first island, there wasn't much to do. I just called a lion goat hybrid thing. Huh? Here we go! I then went over to the other island, unlocked the seashell thing, and at the third island, I needed to mine parts of the tower. You can't even brute force it by getting over them. So, we needed a pickaxe. To get said pickaxe, I would need to kill on the big ass cows to get their horns. But before that, it's time to pimp my boat. And so, I sailed off to somewhere else, and forgot about the pickaxe. 
Hey King G, did you know that you become a millionaire if you put a tongue up to you, if you put your uh, uh, kitchen knife up to your tongue and then you slit your throat? Dog! I discovered this one small, I mean average island. I pulled off a link and uh, found a, a bomb. My Arab tendencies are coming back. Oh sweet Jesus, what have I created? Oh, I'm sorry. Man, it doesn't matter if you feed team my name. I sailed back to the island with the tower, got reminded that I needed that pickaxe, sailed to another island, saved the game. Uh, um, SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah. Who's, who's yellow, absorbent, and horse is he? SpongeBob. Sponge, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. <laughs> Killed the Gorehorn, crafted the axe, sailed back to the other island, mined rocks, and finally, I collected the shell spirit. Finally, I went over to the last island, and as I was summoning bridges to climb to the top, on one of the levels, I had to fight a forsaken warrior, which I almost died from, but I eventually beat it. And then, I got teleported to the platform, and got some more lore, which I can interpret as the big shellfish became a submarine, and the people started to worship some rocks, which we all know is a bad idea. Let us sail again. Whoa! I got another blessing which made me fast as boy. After going through the portal, we enter the third chapter, the war. The first island I visited in this new chapter was pretty big and it had big fucking trees, weird ass bugs, and lizard creatures. When I went to the tower, I found out that I needed to drop off some goat or something to get to the top. But to do that, I had to get the magical lube. On my way there, I got some ocean crystal. Walter White here, and we're gonna do a Minecraft speedrun. And when I reached the island of the magical lube, I noticed a statue of a weird lion. And when I got close to it, it turned into a real lion. Which killed me, but no worries, I made a save file. Wait a damn minute, why am I back here? If I go back through the portal, will I go back to chapter 3? Motherfucker! What is this? B Overall, the game was pretty okay. It was a little bit repetitive, somewhat annoying, but it's a pretty cool concept, which I rate two Michelin boats out of three. What in God's name are you doing? You back off, you crazy bitch! Please give me hug, you. <laughs> My man. <laughs>